Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Raspberry Pi is an amazing little device that can be turned into so many things, from a simple media player to an AI server, like I showed you in my last video. But today we're doing something completely different. We're going to transfer this teeny computer into a retro gaming console. It's simple, fun and perfect for anyone who loves playing retro games. I can't wait to see if playing these games is still as fun as I remember it being. Before we dive in, let's quickly go over what you'll need for this project. A Raspberry Pi 3 or newer, a micro SD card, a power supply for the Raspberry Pi, HDMI cable, USB controller or keyboard, a case for the Raspberry Pi. It's optional, but it looks cool. And of course, software. You can choose RetroPie or Recalbox. Here you can find more information and decide what you want to install. Okay, got everything? Great, let's get started. The first step is to choose a case for a Raspberry Pi. As I mentioned, this step is optional. You can use any case you have, but if you have a 3D printer, you can print something cool. Remember that if the Raspberry Pi heats up too much, it's good to use additional cooling fan. On the internet, you will find many cool sites with free and paid projects. I can definitely recommend this one, but you can also check out printables or think givers. So, after a few hours, I finally chose the design I want to print. So, let's go download and print. Okay, I think it looks great. Now it's time to install the operating system. Let's go to the official Raspberry Pi website and download the Raspberry Pi Imager tool. This program simplifies the process of creating a bootable image for your SD card. Let's walk through it together. Once you have the Imager installed, open it up. At the beginning, you choose your device. Now you will see a menu with different operating system to choose from. For retro gaming, there are two great options, Recalbox and RetroPie. Both are excellent. But for this tutorial, I will be installing Recalbox. It's beginner friendly and packed with features. You can go to the official site Recalbox or RetroPie and there you will learn more and decide what you need. As you can see, both are great, so it's hard to decide. Now, just select SD card and go. That might take some time, so feel free to take a break and enjoy your coffee. Now connect your console to the TV using the HDMI cable and plug the power supply. Once you turn it on, you should see something like this. If you are using a USB controller, Recalbox will guide you through mapping the buttons. Don't worry, it's super simple. Recalbox is compatible with a wide variety of controllers, from modern USB gamepads to classic retro style controllers. So pick your favorite and get ready to play. Now the fun part, playing games. The console supports a huge library of retro games. Let's load something and see how it feels. And there you have it, your very own retro gaming console, built with a Raspberry Pi. It's amazing how this tiny device can bring back so many memories and how super simple it was to build. Whether you are a retro gaming fan or just looking for a fun weekend project, this is something anyone can do. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more awesome projects. Thanks for watching and happy gaming!